Hi guys, uh, good evening. Uh, am I visible and audible to you all? Just tell me if I am uh, live yet and I'll start. Mm, yeah, I think I am. Okay, uh, so good evening and welcome to... Uh, Welcome to this uh, final session that we have before INICT uh, 2022. So what we're going to be doing now is a very, very rapid, uh, a very, very rapid revision of, uh, uh, you know, the images, the must know images that are extremely important for you before uh, INICT. Hopefully my iPad will work. It's been uh, giving me problems since the afternoon and that is why I had to reschedule also. Some issue with the connector. Is it okay now, guys? I think it should be okay. There's some issue with the uh, connection. So, uh, I have to keep my <laughs> charger in a very, very specific manner and then it'll work. So, let me just quickly begin, right? So, these are the images which are going to be uh, extremely important. So, uh, yeah, I will not waste any of your time anymore and we'll quickly start doing the images. So, just listen to me. Henna, no need to answer, no need to do anything. Just with a very, very calm mind, just listen to whatever I'm saying. I will be... Uh, slow but not slow uh, not very slow so i will just go at a speed that you can hear without you know having to focus on uh, anything to write or anything to comment or anything to write so just listen to me at uh, this point all right so all the important images and their relevant points which you know i feel are important i will just keep uh, saying them Take care. all right so the first image so we're starting off with neuro so this image is a ct first of all why ct because here the bones are white Anything which is white on CT is called hyper dense. So what are the things which are hyper dense? One is going to be bone. Bone is made of calcium. So calcium is going to be hyper dense. So here you can see in the posterior part of third ventricle, this is a calcified pineal gland. So this is also white because it's calcium. And what else you see white is this acute hyper dense hemorrhage. So acute hemorrhage is going to be hyper dense, not as white as bone. So this Hemorrhage is located where? So, this is the caudate lobe near the frontal uh, horns of the lateral ventricle. This is the lentiform nucleus made up of outer putamen, inner globus pallidus and this hemorrhage is in the putamen. So, this is putaminal hemorrhage. Remember, this is something which is the most common site of hypertensive hemorrhage. So, this patient would have a risk factor which is going to be hypertension. The artery which is responsible, lenticulostra branch of MCA which is called as Charcot's artery and this artery has this chotu chotu microaneurysms called Charcot Bouchard microaneurysms which are gonna rupture. Thick hai? So this is about hypertensive bleed, putaminal bleed, white white dikhega inside the brain, inside putamen, extremely important, most common site of hypertensive bleed. On the other hand in the CT jab bleed white white hai in a in the shape of a star. Basal cisterns may a hemorrhage. This is subarachnoid hemorrhage. Overall, the most common cause of acute SH is going to be trauma. But if trauma is not spontaneous SH, hai, the most common cause is going to be what is shown here in this image, which is called a DSA, Digital Subtraction Angiography. This is vessel mein contrast, dalte hai, but I subtract the background. So, this is Digital Subtraction Angiography. Here you can see there is an outpouching. So, this is an aneurysm. It's a round round cheese dikhega kabhi bhi vessel mein that is going to be an aneurysm in this case this aneurysm is in the ACA how do I know this is the internal carotid artery uska bifurcation jo aage hai and goes along the corpus callosum like this is going to be the anterior cerebral artery jo laterally piche ja raha in the sylvian cistern this will be MCA so I can see that there is an AC aneurysm in fact the most common site of intracranial aneurysm in circle of villus is going to be at the junction of ACA and AC anterior communicating so this also corresponds to that when this ruptures or this is called berry aneurysm or saccular aneurysm when this ruptures you will have subarachnoid hemorrhage how do we manage it we manage it with coiling unless the neck of aneurysm is very wide when I would do a surgical clipping but without that if they ask you treatment of choice it is DSA only which is gold standard so we do a DSA and there only I will put a coil so DSA plus coiling is the gold standard investigation for SAH alright and in fact one question of AIMS also if you have an aneurysm at the optic uh, at the ACOM it will cause optic asthma compression ok so remember that anterior communicating midline mein, midline mein optic asthma ka compression ok it will cause bite temporal hemianopia behind 
बिहाइंड दी ऑप्टिक का आया इसमें मतलब इन टर्म्स ऑफ दी ऑप्टिक ट्रैक्ट यू विल हैव इफ यू हैव डिफेक्ट इन ऑप्टिक ट्रैक्ट इट विल बिकम होमोनिमस हेमियनोपिया कॉन्ट्रालेट्रल साइड ठीक है सो रिमेंबर वी डिस्कस दिस इन बीटीआर कॉन्ट्रालेट्रल होमोनिमस हेमियनोपिया बिहाइंड द कायास्मा कायास्मा तक वी विल हैव बाय टेम्पोरल हेमियनोपिया ऑलराइट हियर व्हाट वी सी इज अ कंजेनिटल मालफॉर्मेशन व्हेनेवर यू सी कि ना पीछे का पोस्टीरियर फोसा लुक्स वेरी बिग एंड यू सी वाइट वाइट दिस इज एन एमआरआई व्हिच इज शोइंग यू एन हाइपर इंटेंस थिंग व्हिच इज अ फ्लूइड सो दिस इज फ्लूइड सो दिस इज पोस्टीरियर फोसा एनलार्जमेंट विद अ सिस्ट एंड आई सी दैट द सेरिबेलर वर्म इज जो सेंटर में होना चाहिए सेरिबेलम को जॉइन करने इट्स नॉट देयर सो सेरिबेलम वर्म इज का a genesis so i have a posterior fossa cyst with vermis a genesis and i also see that the fourth ventricle is communicating with the cyst so this triad where you have posterior fossa cyst you have vermis a genesis and fourth ventricle is bat shaped communicating with the cyst this is classical dandy walker malformation do not confuse this with arnold carey malformation arnold carey will have a short posterior fossa uske karan से देर इज हर्नियशन ऑफ टॉन्सिल्स सो टॉन्सिल्स का हर्नियशन हो जाएगा इन टू द स्पाइनल केनाल यू विल हैव अ सिरिंक्स इन कैरी मालफॉर्मेशन 1 इन कैरी मालफॉर्मेशन 2 यू विल हैव मेनिंगो माइलोसिल और अ माइलोसिल एनी टाइम यू सी अ बैक मास इन अ बेबी इफ जस्ट फ्लूइड मेनिंगोसिल इफ फ्लूइड प्लस न्यूरल एलिमेंट्स मेनिंगो माइलोसिल एक पीट्स का क्वेश्चन आता है व्हाट डू यू फर्स्ट डू व्हेन यू सी अ बेबी लाइक दिस वॉक्स इनटू अ प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर फॉर यू एंड यू आर पोस्टेड देयर व्हाट would you do you just put a saline soaked gauze piece over that all right you do nothing else saline piece gauze piece dal ke refer the patient to a higher care all right so this is about dandy walker versus arnold carey this is something which is very i feel dandy walker pe sawal is very important okay right going ahead into this dandy walker variant is you will not be asked but any uh, type where you don't have three of these this triad is not formed khali posterior fossa cyst aa raha hai khali ye aa raha hai so that's called dandy walker variant where all the three are not fulfilled okay two views you cannot get them wrong when you see ki maxillary sinus is very very well seen this is basically a modified waters view if the mouth is open if the mouth is closed which we never do nowadays that is just your plain water so this is an open mouth or a modified waters also called as peers view it is the best view for maxillary sinus and all of the sinuses can be seen frontal anterior ethmoidal sphenoidal but not posterior ethmoidal so posterior ethmoidal will not be seen on the other hand when you find that the maxillary sinuses are overlapped this is the caldwell's view which is the best for frontal sinus so just see maxillary sinus dikh raha hai it is open mouth waters or peers jab nahi dikh raha it is caldwell which is the best for frontal sinus okay do not get this wrong pns anatomy again for ini ct extremely important so this is the focused view of the osteomeatal unit so what are the structures what is this this is the maxillary sinus ostium khul raha hai ye this is maxillary sinus ostium this bone here which you see this bone here is the uncinate process we have to do an uncinectomy before fess right so this is in in fess basically the first step this is uncinate process then the cell here the largest ethmoidal air cell what is this air cell this is bulla ethmoidalis it will be in the medial aspect of the orbit it will be the large largest air cell two bones here jo upar dikh raha hai middle turbinate jo niche dikh raha hai inferior turbinate and what must be this meatus then this meatus here that you are seeing is the middle meatus right so this is the middle meatus that is marked by this arrow here now just focusing on the tract on the osteomeatal unit so maxillary sinus ostium opens into this 2d area which is infundibulum which further opens into this 3d area which is hiatus semilunaris all right so this these uh, headings kind of make it confusing but do not be confused maxillary sinus ostium infundibulum hiatus ek line mein cell hai bullite moidalis bone hai uncinate process between inferior turbinate middle turbinate middle meatus okay so this is how we have the osteomeatal unit ct anatomy if you see that infraorbital air cell hai that is going to be haller cell 
if you see that just like bulla it is medial to orbit but the maxillary sinus is not in full plane it's a very anterior section that is how you will identify agar nasi and when you see it's a very posterior section sphenoid sinus dikh raha no orbit is seen that is going to be an superior extension of sphenoid which is the onodi cell okay so just i have told you pointers to pick out on all the other uh, ethmoidal air cells okay so this is how you have to approach the anatomy of pn for pns the investigation of choice is going to be a high resolution ct always okay going ahead to this ct which again gut feeling would be asked what you see here double density sign both the sinuses and the nose is filled this is allergic rhinosinusitis right so this is allergic ars allergic rhinosinusitis this is the double density sign and we use a criteria called bent and kunz criteria the only thing you want to remember there is minor and major what is not a major criteria is fungal culture that is a minor criteria hai na to wo option mein denge all of the following are major criteria except fungal culture fungal staining is a major criteria but culture is a minor criteria okay so this is allergic rhino sinusitis okay then three empties very very quickly teen empty wale sign teeno aims ke repeat question for certain reason okay so when they give you this cella cella turcica by the way literally means turkish saddle okay when they give you history postpartum hemorrhage failure to lactate lethargy hai female ko think of shehan syndrome shehan's because there is pituitary necrosis there will be no pituitary seen and i would see that there is no pituitary in the cella only the stalk is seen only csf is seen so this is empty cella which is one of the causes is shehan's syndrome remember shehan's is not the same as pituitary apoplexy pituitary apoplexy means you have a pre existing adenoma aur usme hemorrhage ho gaya it is not the same usme aapko bada sa t1 hyper intense lesion milega which is hemorrhage empty cella will not be seen in pituitary apoplexy apoplexy hemorrhage empty cella she hands is this making sense similarly agar uterine apoplexy koi puchta hai uterus ke wall mein hemorrhage hai that is something which is seen in abruptio placenta the uterus will be infiltrated with a lot of blood usko bolte hain cuvillers uterus ya fir uterine apoplexy seen in a very severe form of abruptio placenta okay abruptio versus placenta previa placenta previa something which will be painless patient will just wake up in a pool of blood whereas abruptio will be painful patient will have history of trauma ya to pih ya to some sort of polyhydramnios will be there so some risk factor will be there and it's painful okay coming back what you see here this is how a normal thecal sac appears lots of nerve roots on the other hand when you see this this looks like an empty thecal sac empty thecal sac sign is seen in arachnoiditis there is inflammation of the meningeal layers why this happens there is either lumbar puncture which was not done well there is either a surgery of a spine surgery there is some sort of intrathecal drug or contrast injection so kuch na kuch aapne cheda hai jiske karan se you are having inflammation which is arachnoiditis okay empty thecal sac sign and finally on the cct when i see that the superior sagittal sinus is not showing enhancement so this is cct i see an empty delta sign that there is a triangle which is empty this is seen in superior sagittal sinus thrombosis right when the superior sagittal sinus is blocked isme history de sakte hain that there is a child who is dehydrated there can be dural sinus thrombosis or there is some sort of procoagulant factor uh, like ocp intake pregnant female purpurium hai to aisa kuch kuch history diya hoga of virchow's triad okay so this is three empties very quickly dural sinus anatomy so a jo upar se aa raha hai superior sagittal sinus niche jo e aa raha hai parallel to that inferior sagittal sinus d are the two veins which are coming so these are lenticulostriate veins which have become internal cerebral veins d is internal cerebral veins they will combine to form the vein of gallen which is not marked here so this is the vein of gallen and that opens here into the straight sinus which is c so c is straight sinus and opens here at b which is the confluence of sinuses so the various sinuses opening at confluence is going to be 
ट्रांसवर्स साइनस जो साइड से दिखेंगे सैज में तो दिखेंगे नहीं ओ फॉर ऑक्सीपिटल साइनस छोटू सा साइनस पीछे से आएगा एस फॉर सुपीरियर सजाइटल एंड एस फॉर स्ट्रेट साइनस सो फोर साइनस इज ओपन एट कॉन्फ्लुएंस एंड वेन यू सी कॉन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ साइनस इज रेज वट वॉज दैट कंडीशन जिसमें पोस्टीरियर फॉसा सिस्ट था दैट इज वाई द टॉर्क्यूला और द कॉन्फ्लुएंस इज रेज डैंडी वॉकर ओके सो दिस इज द अनाटमी दैट यू नीड टू नो एज फार एज द न्यूरल वीनस साइनसिस आर कंसर्न सो द इन्वेस्टिगेशन फॉर चॉइस ऑफ न्यूरल वीनस साइनस थ्रोम्बोसिस और एनी थिंग टू डू विद ड्यूरल वीनस साइनस एनी पैथोलॉजी इट्स गोन बी अ सी टी विनोग्राफी विच इज नथिंग बट अ सी सी टी और राइट सो दिस इज अ सी टी विनोग्राफी दैट इज इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस फॉर सी टी ड्यूरल वीनस साइनसिस और राइट गोइंग क्विकली टू द चेस्ट इमेजेस सो टू मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट हर एग्जाम में आएंगे वेन यू सी ओपेसिटी विथ अ मेनिस्कस एलिस एस कर्व लेटरली राइजिंग दिस इज प्लूरल इफ्यूजन सेम एज हीमोथोरैक्स हाइड्रोथोरैक्स काइलोथोरैक्स नो मैटर वॉट फ्लूड इज देयर एक्सरे विल अपियर द सेम देर विल बी एन ओपेसिटी विथ कॉन्ट्रा लेटरल मीडियास्टिनल शिफ्ट द मोस्ट सेंसिटिव इन्वेस्टिगेशन एनी टाइम आई थिंक फ्लूड आई थिंक अल्ट्रासाउंड राइट अल्ट्रासाउंड विल बी द मोस्ट सेंसिटिव इन्वेस्टिगेशन फॉर इफ्यूजन मोस्ट सेंसिटिव एक्सरे टर्न द पर्सन टू द साइड ऑन द साइड ऑफ द इफ्यूजन सो इप्सी लैटरल लेटरल डी क्यूबाइटस इज द मोस्ट सेंसिटिव एक्सरे for a pleural effusion okay so this is about pleural effusion the next step usually in case of a medicine case jab aapko dhoondna uh, hai what is the cause you will do a tap and you will apply lights criteria to know whether it's transudative or it's exudative and that is how you further manage the patient okay on the other hand something which has very high chances of coming when you see something black there is to see basically that there are no bronchovascular markings that is going to be pneumothorax i have to sit very still such that nothing moves so this is pneumothorax how do you manage a pneumothorax by the time the connection comes back hopefully how do you manage so you see whether the patient is stable or unstable if the patient is stable we'll put an icd if the patient is unstable you will first put in a needle a needle thoracotomy and then you will basically put in an icd needle the needle is going to be put at the fifth intercostal space in an adult has anybody faced such first world problems like i am doing i know hold on i'm just back very quickly yeah so i'm back so pneumothorax how do we manage if the patient is unstable that is called as a tension pneumothorax so what i'm going to be doing is we want to do a needle thoracostomy in this case so we'll put a 14 gauge needle in the fifth intercostal space if it's an adult second intercostal space if it's a child and we do not stop here once the patient is stable we put in an icd if the patient is stable directly go for an icd where is icd placed fifth intercostal space mid axillary line triangle of safety क्या होता है ट्रायंगल ऑफ सेफ्टी ट्रायंगल ऑफ सेफ्टी इज गोना बी आगे पेक्टोरालिस मेजर पीछे लैटेसिमस डॉर्साई नीचे रिब ओके सो दैट इज वेर आई पुट व्हाट साइज ऑफ आईसीडी सो एटीएलएस सेज दैट इट डजंट मैटर एनीथिंग बिटवीन 28 टू 32 टू फ्रेंच इट्स गोना बी ऑल राइट ओके सो इन न्यूमोथोरैक्स द काइंड ऑफ शॉक यू हैव इज एन ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिव शॉक वेर इन द इनफ्लो ऑफ द वेसल्स इज ब्लॉक्ड द आउटफ्लो ऑफ द वेसल्स इज ब्लॉक्ड बिकॉज़ ऑफ द मास इफेक्ट ओके सो देयर इज ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिव शॉक व्हिच हैपेंस द काइंड ऑफ शॉक व्हिच हैपेंस इन प्लूरल इफ्यूजन इन trauma in hemothorax is hypovolemic shock in cardiac tamponade the kind of shock which happens is again obstructive shock so kabhi bhi obstructive shock hoga jvp will be raised right so that is your clue jvp raised hai it's either tamponade or it's pneumothorax kaise bataoge kya hai breath sounds breath sounds normal hai to tamponade breath sounds ab normal hai 
हाइपर रेजोनेंट है या ब्रेथ साउंड कम है बेसिकली दैट इज न्यूमोथोरैक्स ओके या फिर हार्ट साउंड मफल्ड है tamponade that way so that is how you approach your clinical questions okay very quickly no uh, rocket science when you see lines hai and then granularity hai this is like a seashore we go to the beach during normal time not during pandemic hai na so this is seashore sign which is basically seen in normal lung on the other hand jab apne ko line 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 hi dikh raha hai this is barcode or stratosphere which is seen in pneumo thorax so this is an m mode ultrasound and this is the only air that i can see on ultrasound okay otherwise anything with air ultrasound is the enemy it will never be showing you the diagnosis so this is an m motion mode ultrasound because a normal pleura the two layers of pleura will slide that is called sliding sign which is normal visceral pleural pleura dono aise move karte honge but in pneumothorax they will not मूव ओके ऑन दी अदर हैंड वेन आई सी बोथ काला काला भी है सफेद सफेद भी है एंड अ लाइन दिज एन एयर फ्लूड लेवल विच इज हाइड्रो न्यूमोथोरैक्स डू नॉट बी कंफ्यूज विद दिस लास्ट ईयर आई एन आई सी टी इमेज अगेन अ लेवल बट दिस इज बिलो द डायफ्राम इज इंट इट सो दिस इज द नॉर्मल स्टमक बट द डायफ्राम इज रेज वाई इज द डायफ्राम रेज वाई इज द स्टमक इन द थोरैक्स बिकॉज देर इज अ डायफ्राम इंजरी सो दिस इज हाउ अ डायफ्राम टे air is going to appear if history of trauma is given and they give you this and they ask you what is contraindicated which they did you will say ma'am hum icd nahi dalenge because this is not hydropneumothorax ek level iska matlab hydropneumothorax nahi this is just the normal air fluid level of stomach but it is raised and it is in the thorax so below the diaphragm when you have level it is stomach and do not put icd considering this to be hydropneumothorax this is a diaphragm injury for diaphragm injury remember e fast will never be able to pick it up a cct can pick it up but it can miss also so if they ask you most sensitive investigation agar option mein cct hai go for it agar option mein de rahe laparoscopy even better it is the most sensitive so this is the gold standard it can see also it can repair also but if they are giving you all radio options ultrasound x ray ct mri in that case we mark cct remember never mark mri in any case of trauma in any case of emergency except two conditions mri will only be your answer in trauma agar head mein डिफ्यूज एक्सनल इंजरी की बात हो रही है अबडोमन में पैनक्रियाटिक इंजरी की बात हो रही है टू सी पैनक्रियाटिक डक्ट इंजरी आई नीड टू डू एम आर आई आई नीड टू डू एम आर सी पी डिफ्यूज एक्सनल इंजरी अ वेरी टिपिकल केस वेयर दे विल टेल यू patient is comatose patient has low gcs but you are seeing ct is normal ct shows you tiny particle hemorrhage what is the diagnosis di what is the investigation choice mri okay so this is in a nutshell everything that you need to know so i'm trying to cover every possible thing you know that you can cram into your mind at this last moment okay iske baad bas aaram se chill maarna just do what your btr stuff that you want to revise and just chill okay what we have here are four hrcts for lung hrct is the best investigation this is last year neat question you have a consolidation with air bronchogram so agar pneumonia ka history hai pneumonia pulmonary edema anything will present with a consolidation with air bronchogram what you see here is this tree in bud pattern this tree in bud pattern is something which is a sign of active tuberculosis theek hai active tb ka sign hai this is in the bronchus endobronchial spread on the other hand when you see this halo center mein solid outside ground glass this is halo sign if the patient is immunocompromised this is suggestive of invasive aspergillosis and finally when you see black black bronchus which is dilated compared to this chotu chotu artery this is the signet ring sign of bronchiectasis investigation of choice for bronchiectasis hrct just hear me out bronchiectasis upper lobe mein hai बाइलेट्रल वेरी लार्ज सिस्टिक ब्रॉन्केक्टेसिस सिवियर ब्रॉन्केक्टेसिस कंसिडर सिस्टिक फाइब्रोसिस सिस्टिक फाइब्रोसिस मोस्ट कॉमन इन्फेक्शन अगर बच्चा है लेस देन सिक्सटीन ईयर्स मोस्ट कॉमन स्टेफ ऑरियस मोर देन सिक्सटीन ईयर्स मोस्ट कॉमन सूडोमोनास मोस्ट स्पेसिफिक बर्खोल्ड एरिया ठीक है लेस देन सिक्सटीन स्टैफ 
मोर देन सिक्सटीन सुडोमोनास वाई सुडोमोनास मोर जस्ट दिमाग में याद रखो सुडोमोनास को बायोफिल्म्स चाहिए इट विल टेक टाइम तो वो लेट होगा बर्खोल्ड एरिया मोर स्पेसिफिक तो अपर लोब बायोलेट्रल सिस्टिक फाइब्रोसिस यूनिलेट्रल ब्रॉन्कैक्टस अपर लोब विथ फाइब्रोसिस कैविटेशन टीबी ठीक है यूनिलेट्रल अपर लोब ट्यूबरक्यूलॉसिस मिडल लोब्स में है मिडल लोब्स रिमेंबर नॉन ट्यूबरक्यूलर माइकोबैक्टीरियम एंड प्राइमरी सिलियरी डिस्काइनीज या पीसीडी और बेसिकली कार्टाजीनर सिंड्रोम सो कार्टाजीनर सिंड्रोम यू विल हैव साइटस इनवर्सेस यू विल हैव साइनोसाइटस एंड यू विल हैव ब्रॉन्कैक्टस इन द मिडल लोब तो मिडल लोब में क्या दो चीजें बोली तीन तीन लेटर वाली नॉन ट्यूबरक्यूलर माइकोबैक्टीरियम एंड प्राइमरी सिलियरी डिस्काइनीजिया विच इज एसोसिएटेड विथ कार्टाजीनर सिंड्रोम रिमेंबर प्राइमरी सिलियरी डिस्काइनीजिया विल हैव इनफर्टिलिटी इन बोथ मेल्स एंड फीमेल्स मेल्स में होगा बिकॉज ऑफ Motility which is abnormal, uh, which is is abnormal, esthenospermia and normal sperm mortality is 4%. Uh, what is the normal sperm mortality? It is more than 40% or more than 32%. Uh, this thing, more than 32% uh, mortality is normal, right? Anyways, so pr uh, primary ciliary dyskinesia, infertility in males because of motility of sperms, infertility in females because of fallopian tube ke cilia ki motility which is impaired. Third, cystic fibrosis will have infertility in both males. Me kyu infertility hoga in cystic fibrosis because vast difference is not there. And females me kyu hoga because mucus is very thick. Cervical mucus is very thick. Yeah, progressive motility 32%. Uh, ठीक है. One more thing was coming to my mind. Vast difference. Yes, when vast difference is abnormal, semen analysis कैसा दिया जाएगा आपको? They will tell you that everything is basically FSH, LH, everything is normal and there is azoospermia. So azoospermia with normal FSH, LH levels which are normal always consider obstructive azoospermia. And obstructive azoospermia में सबसे important याद रखो vast difference का absent in case of cystic fibrosis. Repeat question. समझ में आ रहा है? हाँ इधर से उधर जा रही हूँ बट आई होप दिस हेल्प्स ओके सो दिस इज आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू स्क्वीज इज एवरीथिंग पॉसिबल एंड ब्रॉन्कियक्टेसिस पे से यहाँ पे आए थे सो ब्रॉन्कियक्टेसिस मिडल लोब का हो गया लोअर लोब इफ लोअर लोब ब्रॉन्कियक्टेसिस कंसिडर इम्यूनो डेफिशिएंसी रेकरेंट इन्फेक्शन लोअर लोब में जाएगा ठीक है सो दिस इज हाउ वी अप्रोच ब्रॉन्कियक्टेसिस ओके यहाँ आते हैं ट्यूबरक्यूलॉसिस वेरी बेबी क्वेश्चन बायोलेट्रली सिमेट्रिकल छोटो छोटो नॉड्यूल्स दिस इज मिलियरी टीबी ठीक है सो दिस इज मिलियरी टीबी एंड दिस इज गोन बी हिमेटोजिनस अब बिल्कुल मैंने इतना पढ़ लिया है आप लोगों के चक्कर में दैट नाउ आई कैन जस्ट बेसिकली टेक ऐसा ये सब पढ़ा देते हैं एंड में मिलियरी टीबी एंड दिस बी हिमेटोजिनस स्प्रेड ऑफ ट्यूबरक्यूलॉसिस ओके राइट नाउ क्विकली गोइंग इन टू दी अनाटमी ऑफ दिस लेवल दिस इज द प्लेन ऑफ सैम राइट तो यहाँ पे राइट टू लेफ्ट बाय द वे राइट लेफ्ट गलत करके नहीं आना दिस इज राइट दिस इज लेफ्ट वेदर इट इज एक्सरे दिस इज सी टी दिस इज एम आर आई ऑल राइट राइट लेफ्ट सो दिस इज गोना बी एस वी सी दिस इज गोना बी असेंडिंग योटा एंड एम से दिस बनाना शेप थिंग इज मेन पलमनरी आर्टरी जूम करने में भी डर लग रहा है मुझे और ऐसा दिस गोना बी सैम फाइन सो दिस इज बेसिकली सुपीरियर वीना के वा असेंडिंग योटा एंड मेन पलमनरी आर्टरी वेर यू सी दिस कि यहाँ पे दिस इज राइट मेन ब्रॉन्कस दिस इज लेफ्ट मेन ब्रॉन्कस क्योंकि एयर है एंड पीछे जो है दिस इज डिसेंडिंग एटा और राइट एंड दिस छोटू स्ट्रक्चर हियर इज इसोफेगस और राइट सो ये हो गया हमारा सैम और राइट नो नीड टू बी एंक्शियस अभी तो बस सुन लो ना आराम से कि जो नॉलेज मिल रहा है बस दिमाग में ऑब्जॉर्ब राइट नाउ आर ऑब्जॉर्बिंग एफिशियंसी शुड बी मैक्सिमम कि जो बता रहे सुन लो बस मी सैम और राइट सो एस वी सी असेंडिंग एंड मेन पल में ठीक है एंड uh, क्या बताना चाह रही थी सो दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट लेवल वेर एवरीथिंग इज डिवाइडिंग आर्च इज डिवाइडिंग पलमनरी आर्च इज डिवाइडिंग ट्रेक इज डिवाइडिंग सो अगर कोई पूछे कि वर्टिब्रल लेवल कौन सा है दिस वर्टिब्रल लेवल वुड बी डी फाइव और टी फाइव बेसिकली एंड इफ दस यू डिस्क लेवल इट वुड बी टी फोर टी फाइव सो बेस्ट आंसर टी फोर टी फाइव वर नॉट टी फाइव सो इसका कडावर भी दे सकते हैं दे कैन गिव यू सी टी दे कैन गिव यू एम आर आई बट अनाटमी विल रिमेन सेम सो नाउ वेन वी नो नॉर्मल what is happening here here i see that in the pulmonary artery there is some kachra there is some hypodensity which is floating isn't it so this is pulmonary embolism this is a ct pulmonary angiography which is the investigation of choice so ctp is just like any cct just that i time such that pulmonary artery has the maximum contrast this ko bolte hain ctp so pulmonary embolism ctp hai. very quickly pulmonary embolism management just see if the patient is stable or unstable agar patient stable hai 
अगर पेशेंट स्टेबल है यू विल गिव एंटी कोएगुलेंस लो मॉलिकुलर वेट हिपेरिन इज व्हाट आई विल गिव इफ द पेशेंट इज अनस्टेबल आई विल गिव लो मॉलिकुलर वेट हिपेरिन विद फिब्रिनोलिटिक्स कल पढ़ा है हमने इनका अप्रोच सारा मैकेनिज्म राइट ऑन द अदर हैंड इफ दे टेल यू एंटी कोएगुलेशन इज कॉन्ट्राइंडिकेटेड स्टेबल पेशेंट है आईवीसी फिल्टर वी आर नॉट ट्रीटिंग द दिस एम्बोलिज्म वी आर प्रिवेंटिंग फर्दर रिकरेंस तो ये हो गया हमारा सेकेंडरी प्रिवेंशन ऑन द अदर हैंड अनस्टेबल पेशेंट है आई विल हैव टू रिमूव दिस थ्रोम्बस इज एंड इट सो वी विल हैव टू डू एम्बोलेक्टमी विच कैन बी सर्जिकल और विच कुड बी डीएसए ठीक है तो ये हमारा पी का मैनेजमेंट हो गया पी के लिए याद रखो क्लिनिकल सिनारियो देंगे दे लास्ट यू वेल्स क्राइटेरिया ओके सो विल सी वेल्स क्राइटेरिया क्लिनिकल प्रॉबिलिटी इज हाई वी विल डू सी टी पी इफ क्लिनिकल प्रॉबिलिटी इज लो वी विल डू डी डाइमर इफ डी डाइमर इज नेगेटिव rule out pulmonary embolism if d dimer is positive do ctpa okay so this is your entire pulmonary embolism hamesha history diya hoga ki hip fracture tha immobilized patient hai pregnant patient hai ocp pe patient hai long haul flight hai so some sort of dvt wala history would be there and coming back to the anatomy here what do you see ki ascending and descending dono hi aorta mein ek flap hai it is aortic dissection hypertension is the most common risk factor apart from that marfan's earlier dan loss tertiary syphilis could be other secondary risk factors acute chest pain radiating to back we see stanford classification if a for ascending is involved stanford a if descending is involved only stanford b to ye kaun sa stanford hai a ya b ascending is involved chai both bhi ho stanford a so if it is stanford a surgical emergency hai fatafat surgery karna hai if it is stanford b medical management is suited you can give iv esmolol as the drug of choice in uh, stanford b okay so this is about aortic dissection got it yeah yeah this is still remain on youtube forever what do you have here this is a mass in the anterior mediastinum whenever you see kala guys this is one oath that you have taken previously at least a few of you when i see black black on ct kala kala hyperdense on ct i consider fat when i see white on ct calcium so when you see a mass with so many density so many tissue layers this can be only one thing with multiple germ layers this is a teratoma which is a anterior mediastinal mass so most common anterior mediastinal mass thymoma but what you see here is not a thymoma itna heterogeneous black fat hai calcium hai so many germ layers this is a teratoma so what are all the anterior mediastinal mass most common thymoma teratoma it could be retrosternal extension of thyroid or it could be lymphoma all right so these are the four anterior mediastinal mass thymoma remember the paraneoplastic syndromes you have myasthenia gravis you can have pure red cell aplasia you can have hypogamma globulinemia which is called as good syndrome the staging we follow for thymoma it's going to be masaoka koga staging okay which is basically for invasion of the thymoma posterior mediastinal mass what is the most common it is neurogenic tumor all right and for this we need an mri so for anterior and middle mediastinal mass ct is better because posterior is nerves anything to do with nerves mri is better okay so this is what you want to remember what is this thoda sa extra edge when you see this heart and you see aisa kuch fancy this is a delayed contrast enhanced mri all right and this is something which is now the investigation of choice for picking up infarcts so anything which is an infarct will show you enhancement normal tissue will lose its contrast by 10 minutes so 10 minutes pe jab main mri karungi and i see white white that is infarcted wo contrast nikal nahi pa raha there is no efflux because that is infarct right so this is the investigation of choice for infarct overall cardiac mri is now something which is being done in a very big way so whenever they ask you that investigation of choice for cardiomyopathy is what what is the investigation of choice for myocardial fibrosis it is all going to be mri all right what is the investigation of choice to know the cardiac function it is always going to be cardiac mri now all right so this is these are all the indications of mri and finally delayed me infarct okay so this is what you want to know 
going quickly on to msk this is something which has been coming in every exam you can't get it wrong young male inflammatory backache has having is having a positive modified schober's test when he bends the flexion is limited that is the schober's test we consider ankylosing spondylitis so ang spond hlb 27 95% mein positive hoga x rays will show you a fused spine completely like a bamboo bamboo spine ap dekhenge to inter Spinous ligament is ossified. Dagger sign. हमें लगेगा तीनों तरफ से fusion है. So this is tram track sign. But these are all late signs. The earliest finding is gonna be sacroiliitis, and that will be picked up on MRI on a sequence called STIR, which is a fat suppressed sequence, which will show me these hyper intensities as inflammation. Right. So remember, investigation of choice MRI. Bilateral sacroiliitis, ang spond. Unilateral sacroiliitis considered tuberculosis in our country. Okay, TB. Uske alawa associated factors they can give you things like enthesitis, to heel pain diya hoga. They can give you uveitis, such as uh, heart problems. There can be valvular anomalies. So other factors can be given. Also associated with inflammatory bowel disease, right? So remember, ऐसा कुछ भी history देके बनाया होगा. Ang spond, short short question being asked these days. Okay. Right. What do we have here? Three bone tumors. The moment you see distal end of radius space, soap bubble lesion reaching the joint space. इससे पता लगेगा कि ये epiphyseal है. When I see soap bubble lesion like this, not reaching the joint space, A B C, because this is metaphyseal. This is epiphyseal. Right. Age would be another factor. Thirty to thirty-five years. This is giant cell tumor, also called as osteoclastoma. I will show you sequences of MRI also. And किसी ने पूछा एंगस्पॉन वर्सेस डिश डिश वुड बी एन ओल्डर पर्सन एंड उसमें ना पूरा स्पाइन फ्यूज नहीं होगा यू विल सी ऑसिफिकेशन अलोंग द इंटीरियर लॉन्जिट्यूडिनल लिगामेंट दैट इज हाउ यू आइडेंटिफाई डिश एक तो एज देखो एंड एक तो ऑसिफिकेशन देखो देयर बी नो फ्यूजन ओके कमिंग बैक सो दिस इज जीसीटी और ऑस्टियोक्लास्टोमा पैथ का सवाल आता है कि What is the malignant counterpart? Malignant counterpart is M for mononuclear cells and not the giant cells. Okay, this is a tumor which is locally aggressive. It, it does not show you metastasis, but it can invade into the surrounding soft tissue. So, na ye benign hai, na ye malignant. Isliye hum beech mein isko bolte hai, you are locally aggressive. ठीक है? So this is giant cell tumor for you. Aneurysmal bone cyst will have a soap bubble appearance, but it is metaphyseal. And one of you was saying simple bone cyst, you will have a fallen leaf sign. Okay, so ye bhi metaphyseal hoga. Usually humerus. दिखाया होगा इसमें ठीक है सो दिस इज हाउ वी आर गोन बी अप्रोचिंग इट ये क्या है बेबी का ट्यूमर बेबी ट्यूमर बेबी क्वेश्चन इन द मेटाफाइज व्हेन यू सी कि कॉडमैन ट्रायंगल है सनबर्स्ट रिएक्शन है दिस इज ऑस्टियोसार्कोमा इसका ग्रॉस स्पेसिमेन भी दे सकते हैं जस्ट सी कि मेटाफाइज में है ऑस्टियोसार्कोमा दिस इज समथिंग विच इज द मोस्ट रेडियो रेजिस्टेंट ट्यूमर आइरोनिकली इसका रिस्क फैक्टर क्या है रेडिएशन रेडिएशन से बनता है बट खुद रेडियो रेजिस्टेंट अदर रिस्क फैक्टर्स कुड बी समथिंग लाइक पेजेट्स व्हिच कैन गिव राइज टू सेकेंडरी ऑस्टियोसार्कोमा वन वेरिएंट ऑफ ऑस्टियोसार्कोमा व्हिच इज अ सरफेस ऑस्टियोसार्कोमा यू सी समथिंग लाइक अ क्लेफ्ट हियर बोन के सरफेस से क्लेफ्ट है दिस इज अ पैरोस्टियल ऑस्टियोसार्कोमा सरफेस ऑस्टियोसार्कोमा ठीक है हाउ वी डिस्टिंग्विश इट फ्रॉम मायोसाइटिस ऑसिफिकेंस उसमें भी ऐसा सॉफ्ट टिश्यू में मसल में कैल्सिफिकेशन होगा मायोसाइट it is ossificans has a big o in it so uska ossification would be more in the periphery and it would be lighter in the center this is ulta it would be very dense in the center and outside would be slightly lighter and this main thing is this cleft that you will see it is attached to the bone whereas myositis is primary इन द सॉफ्ट टिश्यू हिस्ट्री दिया होगा फ्रैक्चर था सोप्रा कॉन्डाइलर फ्रैक्चर यूमरस था या फिर लेटर कॉन्डाइलर था एंड समबडी गिवन मसाज यू नो इमोबिलाइजेशन नहीं हुआ ऐसा करके मसाज वसाज कुछ हिस्ट्री होगा सो दैट इज मायोसाइटस ऑसिफिकेंस ओके दोनों का ही ट्रीटमेंट इज सर्जिकल एक्सेशन राइट सो इट इज नॉट रेडियो कीमो सेंसिटिव सो वी हैव टू हैव टू गिव सर्जिकल एक्सेशन इफ अनरिजेक्टेबल अ ट्रायल ऑफ कीमोथेरेपी इज गिवन बिफोर द सर्जरी ठीक है तीन मोर ट्यूमर हाथ का एक्सरे देखते ही इट इज 
Enchondroma. So, Enchondroma, Ollier syndrome and Mafuki syndrome if associated with hemangioma. So, Kali bone tumor hai, Ollier's. If associated with uh, hemangiomas in the hand, that is Mafuki syndrome. INICT special, Calcanium mein when you see a tumor with central calcification, this is basically an intraosseous lipoma. Alright, so this is an intraosseous intracalcaneal lipoma. Pelvis ka, flat bones ka tumor, when you see such a stippled ring and arc sort of a matrix, elderly patient hoga, this is chondrosarcoma, chondrosarcoma, thik hai? Something based on last year AIMS question, when you see hip x-ray, hip MRI, see the bias ho jau, it is likely to be AVN, particularly if they give you history of trauma, history of steroids, history of sickle cell anemia, history of gauchers, ठीक है ऐसा कुछ कुछ हिस्ट्री दे रहे हैं अल्कोहल डाइवर है डीकंप्रेशन लाइक केजोन्स डिजीज ये सारे ही रिस्क फैक्टर्स दिस इज ए वास्कुलर नेक्रोसिस एट योर लेवल दे कैन नॉट आस्क यू टीबी हिप ऑन एन एक्सरे इफ एक्सरे इज गिवन इट इज लाइकली टू बी ए वास्कुलर नेक्रोसिस थोड़ा बायस के साथ आंसर करना इफ दीस रिस्क फैक्टर्स आर गिवन व्हाट यू एक्चुअली वांट टू लुक फॉर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज द क्रेसेंट साइन सो सुपेरोलेटरल फीमोरल हेड पे यू विल सी दिस लाइसिस लाइसिस एंड सम सॉर्ट ऑफ स्क्लेरोसिस व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज Go, uh, which is called as crescent sign on the MRI which is the investigation of choice for this condition you will see that there is this necrotic bone here okay similarly just to correlate when you see this within the bone this is basically bone infarct again this may sickle cell anemia ka bone crisis ka picture hoga when you see this serpiginous typically described as snake like serpiginous uh, opacities or these uh, intensities this is basically bone infarct same pathology bone ke andar hua bone infarct joint pe hua avascular necrosis same pathology bachcho mein hua perthes disease right so same basically continuum that you want to remember theek hai Going on to GI and GU, baby questions, you all will get this right. When we see smooth tapering, achalasia, motility disorder, investigation of choice, manometry, Chicago classification is used on manometry and you will find on Chicago, what do you have in achalasia? You will be given that integral resting pressure is more than 15 mm and there are no peristaltic waves. That is how on Chicago you will identify that it is achalasia. If on Chicago, on manometry, they tell you the finding that there is very high distal contractile integer what will you mark if dci is very high more than 8000 it means that the contractions are happening at a very high amplitude that is jackhammer previously called nutcracker esophagus now called hyper contract esophagus agar manometry mein de rahe hain that something called distal latency bar bar peristaltic waves aa rahi hai distal latency kam ho gaya hai that is d for diffuse esophageal spasm corkscrew esophagus karke diya hoga barium mein theek hai so this is our chicago also in a nutshell achalasia in a nutshell remember no role of 24 hour ph that is the investigation of choice for grd this is useful for every exam no just see lagega useful hai shayad what do you have here we are having this irregularity in the distal end of esophagus rat tail appearance this is seen in carcinoma esophagus the investigation of choices upper gi endoscopy with biopsy okay fine for staging c esophagus t and n staging uh, endoscopic ultrasound and for m staging pet ct right so eus is the investigation of choice for t and n staging theek hai aage badhte hue when there is no narrowing but there is an indentation on the posterior aspect of esophagus so this is not a gi condition but a vascular anomaly which is aberrant right subclavian artery called dysphagia lusoria इसको बोलते हैं डिस्फेजिया ल्यूसोरिया वेर यू हैव डिस्फेजिया बिकॉज ऑफ अ वास्कुलर वेरिएंट अबरेंट राइट सबक्लेवियन आर्टरी गोज बिहाइंड द इसोफेगस सो नॉर्मली राइट सबक्लेवियन आर्टरी अराइजेस फ्रॉम ब्रेकियो किफेलिक यहाँ पे इट्स द फोर्थ ब्रांच ऑफ योटा 
पीछे से निकलेगा सो दैट इज वाई यू आर हैविंग दिस इंडेंटेशन और राइट सो रिमेंबर आरसा डिस्फेजियल यूजोरिया अगर ऐसा कुछ कुछ पिक्चर दिया है एंड द इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस ऑब्वियसली सी सी टी है ना सो वन जी आई डिस्फेजिया विच इज एक्चुअली बिकॉज ऑफ अ सी वी एस कॉज ठीक है तो ये दिमाग में रखो दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉमन आर्च वेरियंट आर्च का सबसे कॉमन वेरियंट है वेरी इजी बट वेरी क्लीशियड बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है वेन यू सी अ टारगेट साइन छः से आठ महीने का बच्चा है या फिर हिस्ट्री में देंगे रोटा वायरस वैक्सीनेशन और दे माइट गिव यू दैट पर्सन एज म्यूकोक्यूटेनियस पिगमेंटेशन फिर क्या सोचोगे फिर सोचोगे प्यूथ जगह राइट इन दैट केस इट वोट बी सिक्स टू एट मंथ्स बट इट वुड बी समवेयर अराउंड टेन टू इलेवन ईयर का बच्चा वाई इलेवन ईयर का बच्चा बिकॉज द म्यूटेशन इन प्यूथ जगह इज एस टी के इलेवन दैट इज हाउ यू रिमेंबर दैट इलेवन ईयर के आसपास होता है एस टी के इलेवन स्लैश एल के बी वन म्यूटेशन वेरी हाई रिस्क ऑफ पैन क्रियाटिक सी ए एंड बिकॉज दे हैव दीज पॉलिप्स द पॉलिप एक्ट as acts as a lead point leading to intersusception so i'm talking about intersusception ultrasound will be the initial investigation which will show me one bowel inside the other bowel the gold standard it's going to be a barium enema or an air enema or a water enema wherein you will see this claw sign and basically you will have treatment also on enema because of hydrostatic reduction yahan se wo pressure dega and our bowel will reduce okay so this is the gold standard or investigation of choice any enema theek hai नो 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 प्यूज जगह वोट भी एसोसिएटेड रोटा आई गिव यू टू सिनारियोज जो कॉमनली देते हैं अगर छोटू बच्चू है तो रोटा के कारण से होता है विच इज अ कॉम्प्लीकेशन ऑफ द रोटा वाइज वैक्सीन इन एन अडल्ट अनदर इंडिपेंडेंट सिनारियो दे कैन गिव यू की म्यूकोक्यूटेनियस पिगमेंटेशन है पेशेंट को इन हैविंग इंटरसेप्शन यू थिंक ऑफ प्यूज जगह इन प्यूज जगह इंडिपेंडेंटली आई टोल्ड यू ऑल ऑफ दोस पॉइंट एंड इन एडिशन आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट यू टू रिमेंबर वट इज द हिस्टोपैथ ऑफ दिस पॉलिप्स हिस्टोपैथ में यू विल सी कि मसल ना इसे आर्बोराइजिंग है इन द पॉलिप द मसल इज ऑल गोइंग इन साइड लाइक दिस सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज एन आर्बोराइजिंग पॉलिप ओके सो प्यूज जगह इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एच एस पी ऑल्सो इज अ लीड पॉइंट यस एच एस पी कैंसर मेकल्स डाइवर्टिकुलम सो एनी सच लीजन यू नो कैन पुल द बावल इन साइड इज कॉल्ड एज अ लीड पॉइंट ठीक है कुल वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कांट गेट दिस रॉन्ग इफ यू आर अटेंडिंग दिस क्लास यू कैन नॉट कैन नॉट गेट दिस रॉन्ग सो हियर द मूमेंट दे टेल यू पेशेंट इज हैविंग अक्यूट पेन ऑफ डॉमन गार्डिंग रिजिडिटी पेरिटोनाइटिस है बट एक्सरे किसका दिया चेस्ट एक्सरे यू विल डिरेक्टली लुक अंडर राइट डायफ्राम डू नॉट लुक अंडर लेफ्ट डायफ्राम देर इज स्टमक देर नॉर्मल ईयर होता है राइट एयर अंडर डायफ्राम इट इज परफोरेशन इट इज न्यूमो पेरिटोनियम सो मोस्ट सेंसिटिव X-ray एक्सरे ऑफ न्यूमोपेरिटोनियम इज इंडीड चेस्ट एक्सरे पी ए इरेक्ट व्यू मोस्ट सेंसिटिव इन्वेस्टिगेशन इट्स कॉन अ बी अ सी टी स्कैन राइट नेक्स्ट स्टेप फर्स्ट रिससिटेट आई वी फ्लूड्स डेफिनेटिव मैनेजमेंट एक्सप्लोरेटरी लेबोरेटमी एंड रिपेयर सी टी में क्या दिखेगा सिटी में एयर आगे आएगा ऊपर नहीं जाएगा आगे आएगा इज इंटेड बिकॉज पर्सन इज लाइंग डाउन सो सबसे आगे देखो एंड यू विल सी कि यहाँ पे काला काला वी नो एयर इज ब्लैक एयर एंड फैट टू थिंग्स विच आर ब्लैक ऑन सिटी विच हैव नेगेटिव हाउस फील यूनिट तो काला काला एयर आगे दिख जाएगा नॉर्मली दे विल नॉट आस्क यू बट अगर पूछ भी लिया एम्स में डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन है सीधा आगे देखो यू गाइज नो इट इट इज न्यूमो इफ ऐसा हिस्ट्री है काला एयर ढूंढो यू विल फाइंड इट ओके सो दिस इज न्यूमो पेरिटोनियम फाइन लेप्रोस्कोपी के बाद भी मिल जाता है अप टू 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 थ्री डेज वी कैन सी दो सच लिमिट एज सच बट फॉर टू टू थ्री डेज वी कैन सी एंड लेप्रोस्कोपी आपने साथ में बता दिया वीरीज नीडल भी पूछ सकते हैं दैट इज वट हैव टू रिमेंबर वेन दे टेल यू ट्रॉमा पेशेंट बी पी वन जीरो फाइव बाई एटी फाइव नेक्स्ट स्टेप क्या करोगे वेदर पेशेंट इज स्टेबल और अनस्टेबल ई फास्ट करेंगे अब मैंने आपको एक स्टेप और पूछ लिया All right, English. When we are doing E fast in this patient of trauma, which is going to be the next step, and you find that in E fast you are having this anechoic fluid. This is basically the hepatorenal pouch, right? So this is going to be fast positive. This is the pelvis, urinary bladder के पीछे behind the bladder I am having this anechoic. This is fast. positive right so fast positive patient bp is 105 by 85 what do you want to do next this is going to be very very important kya karna hai surgery karna hai no guys 105 by 85 do i consider this an unstable patient not really do you expect stable patient always 120 by 80 
never right so anything less than 90 by 60 think the patient is unstable you want to take 2 ot but agar uske upar hai then this is likely uh, this is considered to be a stable patient right so we want to go ahead with a cct okay so remember the approach in blunt trauma abdomen whether patient is unstable or stable next step is going to be e fast if patient is stable and if fast is positive go ahead with cct if patient is unstable irrespective of fast result go for ot okay so this is in a nutshell the approach to blunt trauma abdomen very very important it is not sensitive e fast is not sensitive for retroperitoneal injury for bowel injury for mesenteric injury it is sensitive for a limit of up to 100 ml of fluid 50 to 100 ml tak fluid it can detect safe answer 100 ml okay so this is about e fast what is this if they tell you that person has some sort of psychiatric urethral injury pe aungi abhi psychiatric disorder hai i see something of these air air lucencies mottled lucencies bolte isko this is basically either a gossip pyboma if there is history of surgery but agar psychiatric illness de rahe hain this is a bezoar and what type of a bezoar ट्राइकोबेजोआर सो हेयर वाला ट्राइकोबेजोआर इफ दे गिव हिस्ट्री की वीगन पेशेंट है देन यू विल मार्क एज फाइटोबेजोआर एंड इफ दे टेल यू की कोई सर्जरी हुआ है पेशेंट का इंटरागैस्ट्रिक सर्जरी हुआ है देन यू विल से दैट दिस इज अ गोसी पाइबोमा वॉट इज अ गोसी पाइबोमा इट इज अ गोसपीस विच हैज बीन रिटेन्ड तो ये तीनों चीजों में ही ऐसा एयर आएगा फाइन सो हिस्ट्री ऑफ ट्रिकोटिलोमेनिया Trichobezoar, history of veganism, vegan patient only eats veggies. Phytobezoar, surgical gauze piece retained will form this lump, gauzy pyboma. Fine, so remember this picture. Three renal mass, I and I favorite. Heterogeneous mass, black and white, dikh raha hai. This is RCC, renal cell carcinoma, most commonly clear cell RCC, associated with VHL, von Hippel Lindau, 3P chromosome. You will have hemangioblastomas, pheochromocytoma, RCC. When you see black, two things I have told you: black air and fat. This is fat in a renal mass has to be angiomyelopoma. You want to rule out tuberous sclerosis, right? Adenoma, sebaceum, seizures, subependymal nodules. So this is angiomyelopoma. Do you want to do a complete nephrectomy for this patient, or you want to try and save the kidney? You want to try and save the kidney in a syndromic patient like VHL, TSC. We want to do a partial nephrectomy because these patients. Will have a higher risk of developing bilateral RCC. So, jitna kidney bat sake, utna bachana hai. Try doing a partial nephrectomy. Whenever we are doing a partial nephrectomy, we use a surgical score called as renal score, where I basically check the radius of the tumor, whether it's exophytic, endophytic, whether it's near to the sinuses or not. So, basically, no need to know the complete full form, but just remember a renal score karke hum kuch dekhte hai in order to see whether it's partial nephrectomy suitable or not. एक बार सुनी लो फुल फॉर्म सो वी सी द साइज वी सी वेदर इट्स एंडोफिटिक और एक्सोफिटिक how near it is to the sinuses and then two things whether it is lower pole upper pole and whether it is attached to the pelvic allicial system or not just look at uh, just look it up one more time uh, anterior or posterior yeah so this is the renal score not very important but bas ek bar this is the score that i use for partial nephrectomy in a cyst the kind of classification that i use it will finish in half an hour uh, maximum because i'm going like very slow i have 10 more slides so half an hour max 15 to 20 minutes right what was i saying yeah for a cyst to determine the risk of malignancy we use the bosniak grading okay anyway so this was angiomyelopoma when i have a mass with a central stellate scar this is an onco cytoma yeah so this is an onco cytoma or a chromophobe rcc this is associated with with syndrome but hog dupe syndrome wherein you will have fibro folliculomas you will have pneumothorax okay so this is but hog dupe syndrome okay so this is stellate scar so this is how you go about the three renal masses if you see ki kidney mein x ray dikhaya and you are seeing black black air on the ct again you are seeing this black black air this is a very deadly complication which is emphysematous pilo nephritis so here you need basically the patient would be very sick in sepsis gram negative and anaerobic infection is set in polymicrobial so you want to put in a pigtail catheter here immediately and if it doesn't respond you will have to do nephrectomy so first step 
Potapic tail, definitive management, nephrectomy. Okay, so when you see air, this is emphysematous pyelonephritis. Anytime they give you obstructive jaundice, patient ko jaundice hai, raised ALP, raised GGT. What will you do first? So first we will do an ultrasound. Ultrasound will usually tell us the level of obstruction, whether CBD is dilated or not. Any CBD more than 6 mm dilated CBD means obstruction is there. A lot of times it will not tell you the cause. Bata dega dilatation hai but will not tell you cause. So what do you do next in that case? Next I go for investigation of choice. MRCP, MRI, no contrast needed, just a T2 weighted image which will show me the bile duct and ye hai hamara stone usme. If they ask you ki ultrasound mein stone dik gya, ultrasound shows me the stone, what will you do next? If stone is seen, no point of doing MRCP, jump to the gold standard which is this, which is gonna be ERCP, endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreaticography, something that the gastroenterologist will do with an endoscope, go into the bile duct and why this is gold standard because this is diagnostic as well as therapeutic this can remove the stones also so look at the question this has been asked multiple times if ultrasound shows you just dilatation next MRCP. Ultrasound shows you CBD stone, not gall stone. CBD stone, cause of obstruction. Then go for ERCP next straight away. Getting it? Usually ultrasound will just show you dilatation, no cause, MRCP. Do not be confused here. Yaha pe bache confused ho jate ki gall stone diya hai. Gall stone does not mean that CBD stone. So gall stone diya hai, ignore it. If cause of CBD obstruction is not found on ultrasound, go for MRCP. Getting it? Yes. So this is about this. Yes. What is this? This is one more ERCP which is showing me that the MPD, main pancreatic duct is dilated. There are all of these side branches which have opened up. So, this is the chain of lakes appearance which is seen in chronic pancreatitis. Again, in chronic pancreatitis, what is the investigation of choice? ERCP. Fine. So, ERCP is something which is going to be the best for chronic pancreatitis, ERCP is something which is also going to be the best for bile leaks. Okay, so bile leaks, remember again, hot favorite of AIMS examiner, they'll give you history ki laparoscopic cholecystectomy hua tha, now patient is having persistent output from the drain or patient is having pain abdomen, what will you do next? Again, in bile leaks, the first thing you will do is an ultrasound. What will you do after the ultrasound? Ultrasound will show you an anechoic collection, which is a bilioma. Next, you will put in a pigtail. Most of these biliomas will resolve with the pigtail itself. If it doesn't resolve, you go for ERCP, which is the best investigation. Agar pucha theoretical, most sensitive bata do by leak dhundne ke liye, not for sight, not for anything. It is HIDA. HIDA is most sensitive just to see ki ya leak hai ya nahi. But if they ask you best for knowing site, best for knowing classification, what is the type of leak, Strasbourg classification chahiye, A, B, C, D, E, then it is ERCP, okay. Strasbourg, which type is most common? Strasbourg A, which is leak from cystic stump, hai na? cystic duct ke stump mein se leak hai, that is most common and usually we don't need to do anything, ye pigtail dalne pe thik ho jayega, got, getting it and uh, one more person was asking about what? Uh, Mirizi. Mirizi syndrome is the only cause where GB stone can cause obstructive jaundice. So, usme basically GB neck pe stone hai which is causing CBD compression. So, normally gallstones will never cause jaundice. The only condition where a gallstone can cause jaundice is when it's impacted in the neck and it's causing obstruction of the CBD. That is Mirizi syndrome and we use a classification called Sendis classification. Thik hai? Okay. Ab batao. Kya doubt aya? ठीक है हो गया ऑप्शन में दोनों दिया तो देखना है क्वेश्चन मोस्ट सेंसिटिव पूछ रहे तो हिडा यूजुअली दे लास्ट यू नेक्स्ट स्टेप तो नेक्स्ट स्टेप पिकटेल कर दिया बेस्ट पूछा ईआरसीपी ओके फाइन गोइंग अहेड इनटू थ्री एक्सरेस सो व्हेन आई टेल यू स्टराइल पाइयूरिया है एंड थ्री एक्सरेस हैव बीन गिवन कंप्लीटली कैल्सिफाइड दिस इज अ पुट्टी किडनी एंड स्टेज ऑफ जीयू यू ट्यूबरक्यूलोसिस ओके सिक्रीटिन एमआरसीपी एसजी समथिंग दैट इज एन एडवांस फॉर क्रॉनिक पैनक्रेटाइटिस ओके सो इंडिया में तो अपन करते ही नहीं है सो दे विल नॉट आस्क बट बेसिकली दैट समथिंग व्हिच इज अ वेरी गुड इन्वेस्टिगेशन फॉर क्रॉनिक पैनक्रेटाइटिस इट इज एक्चुअली बेटर नाउ कंसीडर्ड टू बी बेटर देन ईआरसीपी बिकॉज़ इट इज नॉन इनवेसिव but uh, I don't think they'll ask you. So if they ask you, is it used? Yes, it is used. But still the gold standard is ERCP only. 
okay going back so this is putty kidney when i show calcification in the form of the pelvic calcial system this is staghorn calculus right so this is your struvite or your triple phosphate calculus usually associated with ureus positive proteus infection when you have calcification bilateral in the medullary pyramids this is medullary nephrocalcinosis okay so nephrocalcinosis marne ke liye it has to be bilateral agar khali cortex mein hai cortical nephrocalcinosis agar pyramids mein hai medullary nephrocalcinosis okay so these are your three calcification but agar main deti hu ivp hai and you are seeing something like a stag horn itna phoola hua kidney now what is this last year question this is pugo obstruction here pelvi ureteric junction obstruction right so there is hydronephrosis why hydronephrosis because of obstruction at pugo okay so this is the difference these are all x rays without contrast jab dete hain ivp a delayed ivp and you see something like this then it is obstruction contrast nahi ja pa raha okay so this is pugo got it what is this investigation mcu micturating cystourethrography three letter of mcu investigation of choice for two things jo teen teen letter ke hain agar mcu pe instead of cystourethro you see uretro ureter that is v u r vasico uretric reflux upar chala gaya contrast vasico uretric reflux if you see that there is obstruction and bladder is dilated posterior urethra is dilated this is p u v posterior urethral valve and on the ultrasound you will see something like this which is a keyhole sign all right so antenna Italy, it can be picked up two one liners puv most common cause of congenital obstruction in children most common cause of congenital obstructive uropathy vur most common cause of uti in children theek hai so any child who has uti at less than 1 year we always always have to do vur we always have to do dmsa we always have to do ultrasound they will ask you these ki uti ho raha hai bacche ko less than 1 year even if first episode do vur to rule i mean sorry do mcu to rule out vur do dmsa this is a static scan which i am doing to see cortical scarring agar koi puchta hai cortical scar dekhne ke liye what is the investigation of choice dmsa and ultrasound again i am trying to see obstruction all right so this is the investigation panel in less than 1 year agar less than 5 year hai what will you do niche ke do do ultrasound and do your mcu not niche ke do but ultrasound and mcu is what we will do and if more than 5 years only do ultrasound so you keep reducing one one investigation more than 5 year just do one ultrasound okay so ye sab itna nahi puchenge but less than 1 year is very important because less than 1 year if you are having uti very high chance of doing of having vur okay samajh mein aa gaya sabko so this is what we are doing parts of urethra c in mcu they will not ask you but still i'll tell you so this is pinnail urethra where it takes a turn and it becomes dilated bulbar urethra pb milke banata hai anterior anterior urethra here chotu sa part membranous and then prostatic dono milke banata hai posterior urethra okay mammography 40 40 and 45 is the confusion not 35 so 40 is according to uk guidelines 45 is according to us does india have any guideline no इसलिए कंट्रोवर्सी वी डोंट नो कब करना है सो हॉस्पिटल का अलग अलग अपना होता है फोर्टी ईयर्स या फोर्टी फाइव ईयर्स नॉर्मली वी फॉलो फोर्टी ओके ना यूरेथ्रल ट्रॉमा क्लिनिकली पेशेंट आएगा आपके पास एक ट्रायड में वेर ही के नॉट पास यूरिन एंड ही इज हैविंग ब्लड एट meatus okay pehle tha high riding prostate which we had to see on digital rectal examination but that is not there so in the history aapko batayenge not able to avoid blood at meatus straddle injury ho gaya think anterior pelvic fracture ho gaya think posterior urethra what will you do next investigation of choice next karenge rgu retrograde urethrography so this is how a normal rgu appears parts this is pineal urethra where it takes a bend and becomes tapered bulbar urethra this chotu sa narrow part membranous and prostatic okay so on a rgu i am only trying to see if there is continuity of contrast going into bladder if i see something like this pineal urethra bulbar pe kya ho gaya everything leaking out so this is how a bulbar urethral injury will appear so this is bulbar urethral trauma fine so this is a positive rgu rgu showing urethral injury agar rgu injury 
दे दिखा दिया वॉट विल यू डू नेक्स्ट दिस पर्सन के नॉट वर्ड आई नीड टू हैव एन ऑल्टरनेट पाथवे वी विल गो फॉर सुपरा प्यूबिक सिस्टोस्टमी नेक्स्ट ओके बट अगर यहाँ पे आपको देते हैं That the patient's bladder is not full. Patient's bladder is not palpable. फिर क्या करोगे Only condition where you wait. Because one exam had answer as wait and watch. Now students are marking wait and watch for every bichara urethral injury patient. Don't do that. Okay. Only when bladder is not palpable. This is. Thank you so much. This is something that you have to do that. You will only wait and watch if bladder is not palpable. Please, सारे urethral injury वाले wait कर रहे हैं वरना no. Fine. So not able to void blood at meatus. Next step RGU. उसके बाद SPC. SPC only if patient का bladder not palpable. Then only wait. Okay. And eventually definitive management delayed urethroplasty. Delayed urethroplasty. ठीक है कितना delayed four to Six weeks. Okay. Last eight slides. What is this? Very quickly. This is snowstorm appearance. Patient amenorrhea के साथ आ रही है. Hyper emesis के साथ आ रही है. This is molar pregnancy. Complete mole. When you see no fetal parts, this is a complete molar pregnancy. The management is going to be suction and evacuation. Do not do curettage. It will lead to Asherman syndrome. And you follow it up for beta HCG. Beta HCG should normalize by six months. Otherwise, that is diagnosed as chorio carcinoma. okay so this is how we treat molar pregnancy on the other hand two ovaries chote chote follicles hain string of neckless polycystic ovarian disease pcod if the patient wants to have children for fertility drug of choice letrozole if the patient does not want fertility just cycle to be regular drug of choice combined ocps fine so letrozole more than clomiphenicillate remember that so this is pcod when you see large follicles history of ivf hai and now you are having such large follicles this is ovarian hyper stimulation syndrome but when they tell you that isko to molar pregnancy hai and you are seeing such large follicles that is theca lutein cyst right so these are theca lutein cyst same appearance milega so most likely they'll ask you ivf ohss molar pregnancy ke sath theca lutein how do you manage theca lutein nothing primary molar को ट्रीट करो ये अपने आप रिजॉल्व हो जाएंगी ओके जनरल रेडियो अप्रोच टू फॉरेन बॉडी वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इनिशियल इन्वेस्टिगेशन फॉर एनी फॉरेन बॉडी एक्सरे बेस्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशन एनसीसीटी कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेटेड व्हाट इन्वेस्टिगेशन बी डेट्रिमेंटल मेटल में डाल दिया बड़ा सा मैग्नेट ऑलवेज डैमेजिंग MRI never ever do MRI in a suspected foreign body. Welder की आंख में चला गया metal do not do MRI detrimental. दो X-ray देंगे this foreign body छोटू बच्चू playing alone and having now dysphagia this is gonna be in the esophagus. So remember esophagus has a big O the coin will appear like this big O. On the other hand when it appears like a slit this is a trachea this is a coin in the रिटेन्ड पीस ऑफ ग्लास रिपीट एम्स क्वेश्चन किसी को ग्लास से इंजरी हो गया एंड आई वॉन्ट टू सी वेदर इज अ रिटेन पीस ऑफ ग्लास वॉट इज द फर्स्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशन यूल डू फर्स्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशन एक्सरे वॉट इज द बेस्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशन दैट वेल्डर जिसकी आंख में मेटल था दिस इज दैट वेल्डर सो दिस इज एन सी सी टी इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस शोइंग मे दिस व्हाइट व्हाइट मेटल व्हाइटर देन द बोन ठीक है आगे बढ़ते हुए फोर एम आर आई सिक्वेंसेज वेन यू वॉन्ट टू सी फैट सप्रेशन बोन मैरो इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस स्टर सिक्वेंस फैट सप्रेस्ड इट इज द इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस फॉर बोन मैरो इडीमा अक्यूट ऑस्टियोमालाइटिस इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस स्टर सेक्रोइलियाइटिस इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस एम आर आई स्टर सिक्वेंस स्ट्रेस फ्रैक्चर द ओनली फ्रैक्चर वेर एम आर आई इज बेटर देन सी टी स्ट्रेस फ्रैक्चर फाइन सो वेर फैट इज सप्रेस स्टर वेर यू सी काला काला डॉट्स ससेप्टेबिलिटी वेटेड इमेजिंग already you know it diffuse axonal injury comatose patient ct normal the only place where mri is better susceptibility weighted imaging dai on the other hand stroke ka patient dwi so do not mix them up diffusion weighted imaging acute stroke investigation of choice for ischemia sd sd 
ठीक है एस डब्ल्यू आई डी आई डी डब्ल्यू आई स्ट्रोक अचानक से कलर आ गया ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट जिंदगी में वेन यू सी व्हाइट मैटर्स विच आर शोइंग यू कलर कोडिंग डिफ्यूजन टेंसर इमेजिंग इफ आई सी अ थ्री डी इमेज ऑफ द ट्रैक दैट इज कॉल्ड ट्रैक्टोग्राफी सो जस्ट थ्री डी बना दिया डी टी आई को दैट इज ट्रैक्टोग्राफी ओके सो दैट इज वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू रिमेंबर डॉपलर दिस इज अंपल कलर डॉपलर वेर इन द कलर इज अकॉर्डिंग टू डिरेक्शन ऑफ फ्लो रेड towards the probe blue away from the probe so this is not like anatomy where red is artery blue is vein red is towards the flow probe blue is away from the probe so this color doppler shows me direction this is the same as duplex ultrasound on the other hand when i see this wave form this is a triplex ultrasound or a spectral doppler it shows me the velocity last year aims question they had given you this graph and asked you batao kya investigation hai the moment you see centimeter per second velocity this is a spectral doppler okay fine dti is diffusion tensor imaging flare kaisa hota hai flare is t2 but csf suppressed hoga theek hai so aapko agar csf black lag raha hai gray matter is white and white matter is gray that is flare ठीक है इफ यू आर स्टिल कंफ्यूज क्विकली सर्च ऑन यूट्यूब रेडियोलॉजी क्रैश कोर्स पार्ट वन उसमें फटाफट से एमआरआई सीक्वेंसेस के पार्ट में जाओ एंड आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दैट इन डिटेल ओके सो थ्री काइंड्स ऑफ फ्लो व्हेन यू सी ऊपर नीचे एंड वन मोर दिस इज try physic this is seen in very elastic arteries extremity arteries when you see systole me upar niche this is bi physic this is seen in all the other visceral arteries and when you see one direction this is mono physic flow which is seen in veins right these are not arbitrarily chosen yeah arbitrarily in the sense you can see here when there is positive it is red when it is negative it is blue okay so that is how fine so this is monophasic flow which is seen in normal veins repeat aims question theek hai so ye apne ko janna hai dvt versus normal vein a normal vein is going to be compressible see here i this was my normal state when i compressed it the artery remains as it is but vein has gone means this is a normal vein which is collapsing but if there is dvt this will be non compressible flow in a normal vein is going to be monophasic flow unidirectional in a dvt there will be no flow absent flow theek hai so this is how we are going to be identifying that is why for any peripheral arterial disease what is the initial investigation doppler ultrasound for dvt what is initial what is investigation of choice doppler ultrasound theek hai so for vascular always start with doppler ultrasound what is this investigation you guys will say ma'am red blue dikh raha hai doppler doppler no doppler when you see it is not in a vessel it is in an entire box this is shear wave elastography color dekhte doppler mat marna when you see that mass me color aa raha hai this is a new investigation this is elastography फाइब्रो स्कैन का नाम सुना है ट्रांजियंट इलास्टोग्राफी दैट इज अ रूडिमेंट्री फॉर्म ऑफ दिस इलास्टोग्राफी दैट वी यूज फॉर लिवर फाइब्रोसिस ट्रांजियंट इलास्टोग्राफी दिस वेर यू सी इन रियल टाइम पूरे मास का इलास्टिसिटी दिस इज शियर वेव इलास्टोग्राफी डू नॉट कंफ्यूज ट्रांजियंट इलास्टोग्राफी विथ टेग thrombo elastography this is something which is a measure of coagulation this tells me all the coagulation steps platelet plug se leke jo kal pad rahe the platelet plug se leke coagulation tak every step can be told to me by tag and this is something that i use in trauma a lot theek hai trauma mein hum tag use karte hain because in trauma in damage control resuscitation we give everything right we give 1 is to 1 is to 1 iv fluids platelet and ffp we give all of them and then i monitor based on the tag ki next kya dena hai kya nahi dena all right so just remember all of these three things together just this final table cell type most sensitive anything which is dividing a lot this is called as burgoni's law anything which is not dividing least sensitive most sensitive organ is going to be gonads ovaries more than testes least sensitive organ is going to be the vagina so the moment they ask organ think pelvis pelvis ke do answers hai blood cell largest nucleus lymphocyte least sensitive no nucleus platelet more than rbc cell cycle phase most sensitive g2m 
least sensitive s so s is not sensitive tissue most sensitive hematopoietic tissue least sensitive brain structure of eye because cataract is the most sensitive uh, common complication lens most sensitive least sensitive sclera tumors which are most sensitive remember wilms wilms tumor isme se ek hi khol likhungi because that is asked ewing sarcoma so wilms tumor ewing sarcoma lymphoma leukemia mc multiple myeloma ss seminoma all of these are sensitive least sensitive homp hcc rcc os important osteosarcoma melanoma pancreatic ca theek hai so remember last year question ewing sarcoma sensitive osteosarcoma resistant when you have a nuclear accident achanak se itna radiation ho gaya what is the order of involvement first you have hematopoietic involvement then you have gi and then you have cardio neuro involvement cvs cns is the last agar hematological issue hua you will have a very slow death over 2 weeks you will have symptoms gi you will have symptoms which are occurring over days cvs cns lethal you will die within 48 hours the dose which is required for hematopoietic syndrome 2 to 8 grays for gi 4 to 12 grays for cvs cns 20 to 100 grays theek hai so this is 2 to 8 beech se le lo 4 4 to 12 20 to 100 so very high dose required for cvs cns okay so this is it this is what we had to do so still finished in respectable time considering the abrupt uh, uh, ipad issues we were having still i think for the amount of information i think this is enough okay lesser sac greater sac what about lesser sac greater sac okay so i think this is enough no more on that be please all right so that is all thank you so much and now have faith in yourself just relax now and give the best exam hai na best exam de ke aane best 3 hours de ke aane we discussed it just uh, like half an hour back and this is something which is so so important ki aaram se chill mar ke exam do read every option carefully do not make silly mistakes do not jump to the answer jo aata hai make sure you are marking it correct manage time well do not uh, give a bad exam because you couldn't manage time well that is the best that is the worst thing to to happen to you so exam acche se dena hai time मैनेज करके रखो एवरी आर कीप चेकिंग की सेवेंटी क्वेश्चन हो रहे हैं या नहीं ओके ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट आई विल गिव यू द पी डी एफ अभी पी डी एफ मत देखो जो भी हो गया हो गया नो नीड टू गो थ्रू पी डी एफ अगेन नथिंग बट आई स्टिल पोस्टेड इफ यू वॉन्ट बट नाउ जस्ट रिलैक्स एंड गिव दी एग्जाम वेल हैव सम गुड फूड सुबह खा के जाना कॉफी पी के जाना एंड डू नॉट ड्रिंक टू मच कॉफी ऑल्सो ओके ऑल राइट बच्चो ऑल द बेस्ट एंड गुड बाई